Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. As a lawyer, is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. M Mia! I don't like this. <laughs> I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You... You but... Per pearls! Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But, but how? She's she's already taken every uh, taken away every advantage. The advantage is still on your hand. Take careful one more time. I uh, think carefully one more time. What you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Doctor Gray. Click. Uh, I was. Murder. What? She took like three pictures. A lot of at a time like this. Times like this are perfect for snapping shots, Mr. Phoenix, right? You see, there is one final piece of the puzzle. Mia? Question Leota. One more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's uh she's doing it subconsciously or on purpose, but She's not testifying truthfully. Now then, the court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request uh, that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Fenerar. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated... Ugh! It's fine. Allow another testimony. <gasps> Von Karma's case is perfect, absolutely flawless. And what better time than this is for you to see that? But, but, I, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it! Uh, Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See? Uh, you go through the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's work that got through to him. Witness testimony. Witness account part two. And part two needs to be split up videos. Alright, so, let's see. When we broke into the room, all, all I could focus on was my was Maya. I was kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm bad, really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff, but I still managed to put my ca camera at mine and take a shot. Nothing sounded different from before. Some parts of her testimonies were very vague. I should pressure on those sections. Struggle all you like and taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. All right. Whew, excuse me. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. So, what does she look like? You know, she looked almost like a a, a different person. A different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made the point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you see anything that helped to happen? I was uh, kind of scared of dead bodies, so I didn't take a good look at it. Hold it. Hold it. Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray at all. Yeah, well, well I reckon that's possible. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> He's hiding under the floor. <laughs> Oh god, he has a heart in his hand. If the body inside the room was not, uh, is that of not Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was that of my fate after the channeling, or maybe... Yeah! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness. Just an exact, uh, just an ex just an expect of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, 
then that would mean that Maya Fei is in fact dead. And that would make the defendant chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Uh, sorry, Maya. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? Uh, I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. Hold it! <laughs> and even knowing that, you still persist on being a paranormal photographer? I'm sorry, it's like 2 in the morning right now. Uh, that's why I'm getting out of this uh, this here business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the uh, on the stars and a tabloid photographer from now on. Oh wow, I wonder if that's gonna play like in the later part of this game or in the future. In the future game. She moves through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Yeah. Mr. Phoenix, right? Would I, would it kill you to just stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Right? Nice tag team in stereo. I guess I should be grateful that it's not in 5.1. <sighs> Fucking sound references? Um, hold it. <sighs> the two, right? Uh, two what? Two shots. You took two shots. Oh. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where's the other picture that you have been hold withholding? Uh, no, you ain't got you got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can't even be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then we have us not shown the other picture to the other court yet. Well, ain't it obvious? It's the prosecutor when we told me to shut my trap about it. What? But Von Karma. Uh, Miss Von Karma, you, you're, ho you're holding critical evidence. Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're, you're as bad as your father. Confront Franz Zaska. Franz Zaska. Your Honor, the defense uh, asked, uh, asked that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Mm, well, yes. Ugh. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid the evidence from the court on, on purpose. That's, that's, that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a, ch a school child? I, I, so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That is all. How could you think? The picture were more, uh, more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. But more trouble than it's worth? How, how can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Alright, um, Lada's photo number two. Alright, let's see what this is going to lead us. She's looking at herself in blood. And you can obviously tell it's not Maya with the face. Is there anything in the background? I don't know. No, no feet? No nothing? No one coming from the floorboards? I don't think so. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like Maya. What is, what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but... That's what you get with a nervous amateur. Well, I, I think the important point here is that the person in the picture... This is most definitely not my affair. Uh, what is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. No, should I, or should I not insist the person's not Maya? Insist it's not Maya, you dumb. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Fey. Y yes, I see that. I it's not just a face, her whole body has taken a different appearance. There is only one conclusion there can be drawn, then. That somehow the other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. 
Order! Order! Well, yes, I believe you're correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not my affair. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Um, what was her name? Eeny Meeny? What was it probably Eeny Meeny? Knocked out Maya, right? Threw her behind. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what if that happened? She knocked out Maya. She was waiting in there. Knocked out Maya. Had, you know, had her garb and, you know, all her clothes and all those things, her style. And, um, attacked a guy. You know, almost got shot, take the gun from him, and then kill him. Yeah? I... And maybe the ants were... And the aunts working in on it, when you think about it, right? Because they were talking about something behind it. It was big enough to fit somewhere behind it. And why would they say something like that if it's not going to come in within the case, Right? And you know how the aunt went into the room without having, uh, without having anyone there, pretty much. She was like, get out of the room, I'm gonna do the spirit severing technique. And, uh, any mini has the same eyes as her sister, obviously, so it's like, you know, mm, mm, that's just me. The person who was on the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Ah, uh, Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry dessert, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutor Von Karma's face. She, she's smiling. I think you had a better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. What? It was uh. This was taken yesterday at a detention center visitor's room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and a defendant, Maya Fay, during his visit. M Maya Fay? But isn't that a totally different person? You fucking murderer. She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. Holy hell. It's unbelievable. That she can. However, it is true. When my face in that state, she physically changes into a person she's calling. I wonder if she knows what she's doing. But, yeah. Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is legal. That picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, the picture is illegal. But I never intend to submit it evidence in the first place. What, what is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, the case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I... I don't even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. What the... I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person has defended Maya Fey? If I give up, if I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will, it will cost me. Is there any way I could prove that this person in this picture is not Maya Fey? It's no good. My argument doesn't hold any water. Oh shit! No, I fucking clicked on. No, I clicked the fucking button. I uh, fuck. I didn't look at the other screen. I was still reading, and I clicked the fucking button. God. It always happens with me in games. I see the fence is staying silent for this one. Yes, Your Honor. And to think, I even gave you this chance to prove your point for free. But you could even point yourself out of a lineup. Hmm. Yes. Well then, I believe we have reached a conclusion. Phoenix. Y yeah. You can't give up, please, for me. Take a look at the court records again and try to find some way out of this jam. Yeah, some way. The judge is about to close the trial. You can't let that happen. Ah, <sighs> come down to this. Your Honor, with this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. What? What is it? In what is it now, Mr. Wright? Please, please let me explain. 
So, you think you spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is strange about this picture? I fucking... Uh... Duh. She doesn't have the bullet hole, that's the thing. She does not have the bullet hole, so... There. The contradiction lies here. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Excuse me, but can you really tell me how much confidence I have in this? <laughs> what is it with that attitude? That, that hurt! Didn't we just finish discussing the appearance changings during channeling? I know you ain't no dummy, so where do you think you're fooling? There's a limit to everything, Mr. Wright, and that includes patience. Phoenix, you have to think before you speak. You can't... Ah! Even Maya's mad at me now. I have to focus. Was it on the other sleeve? Did I click it wrong? So you think you spotted a fucking... I'm looking at the sleeve again. Ah, fuck! That's the left... <laughs> it's the left side. Doop -doop -boop -boop. Please direct your attention here to to the sleeve, but there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly what's so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should should be there. Mm. There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you, you... You intend to hide this valuable piece of evidence. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, I should do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't ya? Take a look at Miss Von Karma. Uh, Karma's face. Ah, she's got that condescending grin platter stirred all over her face again. Just jumping the gun again, I see, Your Honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What, what do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct had it messed up, messed up, uh, missed a bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could have not known the picture was of, of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth. I know it! That woman knew about knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Uh, Franz Oscar von Karma's idea of perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure the detective gets what's coming. No. I'm sure there will be a great, uh, uh, gnashing of teeth at this next salary discussion. Or comes you. In any case, this is a very big problem. When a defendant was taken into custody, her, uh, her costume had a bullet hole in the sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that the right after the shooting, there was none. George is confused by the strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you got into one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor, there is only one logical explanation for this contradiction. Alright, I'm moving my hand away from anything that selects something. Um. Shooter is someone else, right? The bullet hole was made for later, the picture is fake. Shooter is someone else. The defendant's sleeve have a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. M what? <laughs> a lot is just standing there like, what? Order, order. If order is not restored, I will sp I'll suspend this trial. Yeah. Ah! 
Ugh, why me? The fence. Uh, the fence argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Uh, hey, witness. Ah! Uh, what the heck? Is that any way to ask a girl a favor? Be quiet, you. Uh, you're the one who said there was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you're lying, I swear my whip will be the last thing you see. Uh, look, look, sis, you're, you look mighty scary, so why don't you say... Ugh, I, I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone in there, I, in there, I honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, is it lately all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in the picture is not the defendant, then this possesses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did the person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on, Phoenix. You can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even me is calling me by my, my full name. I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Not enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Or do you think you have enough, uh, in your turn, things around even now? To turn things around. That's right. You would always turn things around and change your perspective. Phoenix. So, where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at the situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if we, before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left the room somehow? Prove that either one of those conditions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is a third person ahead of Maya has left the room, something I can't explain yet. Obviously, that's a big no no, so those two are ones that I think. I know the aunt has something to do with this too, also with Eeny Meeny. Obviously, the aunt did something, because I believe Maya was still in the room, but, um, you know, the aunt had to do something with her getting out, or switching clothes, or doing something, I don't know, just fucking, ah, ah, Maya had left the room, ah, third person to enter, or she would have left when it happened, maybe? Ah, Maya left the room? Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh, how foolish from, uh, fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Fay was being looked after by her aunt Morgan Fay. The chances of her leaving the crime uh, scene is lower than a detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Proof from the murder, uh, until the time of the arrest, the defendant had left the room. Ah, oh, yeah? Ah? Uh, you... You wanna see? The what fucking, um... Leaving rooms and shit? Yeah. Yeah, only way to get out is with this fucking key, so, um, take that, bitch. Please work. I think it worked. Oh, God. <laughs> Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. The key's the only one of the kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Strike. Yes? Looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Hmm? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in the room, the key would have been with her. Yes, agree. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well, ah, ain't that a kick? So how come you holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. Ah, and that little girl's nowhere near the crime scene at the time. 
Uh, that's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would have not be holding the key you see before you. <laughs> no. No. Hmm. It seems that we have come to an impasse. The picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, in this, uh, is this the person offended or not? The defense is arguing that the person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Ms. Von Germa. How can this be? At the point of time, a verdict of the defendant is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a protege. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in a courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you'd like to continue, do so in the lobby. Courtroom reconvene tomorrow. T tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Quarters adjourn. Ah, uh, yeah. What is this? Day one, right? My earphone fell out. June 21st, three days before my birthday. 1.32 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number three. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yeah. I, I felt like I had no choice. Break on, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah. Not like anyone else is there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but... I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that, uh, think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on ya. <sighs> I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think that you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Uh, a ticket? Kit? Poor thing. She's so sheltered. <laughs> to be continued. Kanye West. Yeah.